Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market view. US markets were up about 0.35 to almost about 0.2% as some of the members have indicated that the uh, stimulus program should be continued and as it's been helping the uh, economy to revive and uh, it's important to know what kind of statement or uh, testimony Ben Bernanke gives before the Congress. Uh, so uh, one gets a broader picture on the continuation of this stimulus uh, etc. And European markets too were up, the, the main markets were up about 0.2 to almost about 0.75%. But the peripheral markets uh, were weak and Greece in particular was down almost about 4%. Uh, when we look at the Asian markets today, there is a mixed picture. Japan is up about a percent, whereas Hang Seng is down almost about 0.4 to 0.5%. Market is also focusing on the Bank of Japan policy meet, which is likely to happen today to get more clarity about their uh, monetary policy because uh, just to put things in perspective it's the aggressive monetary policy and allowing the depreciation of the yen which has led to uh, liquidity across the globe and particularly weakness in the yen so it is important to watch what kind of stance uh, the bank of japan uh, policy meet throws up and uh, in terms of flows friends uh, fi is a net bias in the cash market to the tune of almost about uh, 679 crore Whereas the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of almost about 867 crore. So for the past few trades, the past few trading sessions, uh, we are seeing that uh, the flows are getting matched and we are not seeing any great incremental new flows into the market which is not definitely uh, positive. And in terms of uh, index futures, FI is one biased to the tune of almost about 315 crore. Also importantly friends, USD INR actually came down to 6 month lowest level of about 55.40. Good morning friends, let's have a view on derivatives. The benchmark indices extended their southward journey for second consecutive day. Despite recovery in the afternoon session, the markets failed to negotiate a positive close and finally ended the session in red with a loss of 0.78%. In this period, we have seen short positions were built up by market participants as around 3 lakh shares were added in open interest and Nifty futures premium also decreased from 8 points to 2.8 odd levels. And PCR also decreased from 1.22 to 1.19 indicating call option has seen a good number, of, good number of accumulation in open interest as it is clearly visible in the strikes of 6100, 6200 followed by 6300. And on put option, 5,900 has seen a good number of accumulation. On net net, 6,100 would be very crucial and important strong bet as this is our weekly VWAP level. If Nifty closes below this level, we would revise our bias downwards. From intraday perspective, one can go along on Excess Bank with a stop loss of 1,503.10 paisa and one can go along on Coal India with a stop loss of 303.30 paisa. Thank you. Here are the important news and events that we are tracking today. First of all, companies which would be announcing numbers today. LNT, we are looking at a net profit of about 1880 crore, which would be a flat number on a YOY basis. But what is important to watch is what kind of operating margins are we looking at for this quarter and what kind of order inflow are we really looking at for the next whole year and the overall guidance that the management may give. But definitely on a YOY basis, the pad doesn't look too impressive. Z Entertainment, we are looking at a net profit of about 162 crore. And in case of Thermex, we are looking at a net profit of about 110 crore. Some positive news uh, for the sentiment of uh, the foreign institutional investors as the finance ministry has clarified that the foreign investors will be eligible to benefit from the lower uh, withholding tax for the interest income uh, which is accrued between June 1st, 2013 and May 31st, 2015. So this is definitely a bit of a positive for uh, the foreign inflows in the debt instruments. Some negative news for Coal India as the All Coal India Workers Federation members have decided to go on an indefinite strike totally covering about 3.57 lakh members uh, in case the government goes ahead with the plan to divest another 10% equity in Coal India. So this is a bit of a negative for Coal India so there could be a small negative reaction in today's market when the trade opens up and uh, also uh, India has uh, decided to go ahead with uh, probe on Renbaxi after US FDA uh, did an inquiry into the irregularities uh, being followed by the uh, Renbaxi plant uh, to check if there was any kind of an issue with the quality of the drugs uh, manufactured by 
the plant located in India. So rent back see uh, one more negative news and the stock could remain uh, under pressure in today's market. Some positive news for Heidelberg Cement as the company has decided to sell its 0.6 million ton capacity uh, of plant to uh, JSW Group. They haven't disclosed the amount and ITC has expanded its deodorant portfolio by venturing into a new couple deodorant under the brand Engage. So this could be a bit positive for ITC. Uh, now talking about the companies which have announced the flow price for the offerings, uh, Oracle Finance, the flow price is announced at 2275. They are offering almost about 40 full like shares and JSW Energy has uh, uh, decided the price at about 61.50. They are going to offer about 28.2 million shares and Purvankara has set a price band of 80 rupees to 85 rupees for the OFS to large investors. SR Oil, some positive news is the company has uh, come out with a three-way unique debt financing deal with China Development Bank and Petro China to raise almost about $1 billion of uh, funds. Uh, so one can go long on SR Oil with a stop loss of 79.5 and a target of about 83 to 85. Party, some negative news as the company has received a show cause notice for the alleged tax evasion of about 200 crore. We also had some negative news yesterday about the cartelization uh, being followed by the telcos uh, in the spectrum auction. So one can go short on Bharti with a stop loss of 311 and a target of about 296 to about 289. That's it from all of us friends. Have a great trading session. See you tomorrow at the same time.